Ted, I made it. I made it, buddy. What, you ride all the way from Oshawa? Gas ain't cheap. I left three days ago. You fun fact, they don't let you camp off the 407. Who knew? There you go. Oh, cheers. Cheers, man. Cheers to the grill. I'm assuming we're drinking a Jamaican style beer because we're doing jerk chicken. Perfect. All right. So we're going to go straight to the hardcore Jamaican. This is a overproof rum. We're talking 63% alcohol. I knew my bike ride was worth it. Well, I do have to ride my bike home, remember. Yeah, you're not riding anywhere. <laughs> to Bob Marley. To Bob. He was good. To jerk chicken. So let's get rock and roll. I, I, I think jerk is amazing. And uh, for a fat white guy, I make a pretty good jerk. Mm but the core ingredients of jerk are one, scallions. These are green onions. Yes, Scallions that's I mean. are usually red, purple, like a red onion. Oh, so, I thought they were always just all green onion or all scallion. No. Jamaican scallions, what you're looking for is red down here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Use the green onion and a little bit of red onion. It'll get that color that you want and a similar flavor to it. Scotch bonnet peppers, the heat, you got all kinds of sizes and shapes of them and now is are the greens cooler these are the mildest these are the hottest no they're all just fucking hot and when you work with these we're going to wear some gloves i bet all right okay and another main ingredient is thyme mm. fresh thyme is nice you can use dried thyme if you wish yeah you use that a lot i've seen you use it on steak and other things right Love it's it. a great herb all herbs are fantastic you should always have herb <laughs> you know what i mean Cane sugar. Well, uh, all sugar comes from sugar Jamaican, cane, yeah. but this was in the package. It said cane sugar, so mm -hmm. it's cane sugar. But, but I could use any sugar. If I'm you making jerk at home, sugar. I can use, you can any. use okay. any sugar. All right. We got some nutmeg, a little bit of seasoning, some uh, cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. Nutmeg is good too because yeah. it stops you if you have the poops. I've got a mixture of a little salt and black pepper, but the key spice in Jamaica, mm -hmm. jerk, is allspice. Jamaican allspice or pimento pepper because it comes from the pimento tree, one of the most popular trees in Jamaica, okay. and indigenous to Jamaica. And this Jamaican allspice is different than the allspice that you might get from Indonesia or from India. Okay. Where this is a little bit sweeter. Very much so. I thought they were peppercorns. No, well, they're like, and that's why it's, this is Jamaican pepper. So, so this is very important. All right. Is that pimento pepper to give that distinctive flavor. But when you say allspice, that says in my mind that there's a variety of spices in allspice. No, allspice is a berry. Really? It's called allspice. I always just thought it was allspice included a variety no, of no, things to make it be all spice. shit show. <laughs> right, but that doesn't sell well on a label. No, no, it doesn't. Welcome to the shit show spice world. <laughs> I need an ounce of shit show spice on my dish, please. So, oh, you, yeah. gotta, so you take your green onions. And these are, this is nice time in the sense that it's not, the stems aren't so woody. Okay. All right, you're gonna stand there all day long, and you can, but we're gonna grind this up into a paste. So let's save this. I'm gonna save this. A little bit of red onion. Onions are fantastic, right? So all that, a little bit of this first. Okay, just gonna put that up there. Oh, look at this. Like so others. you grind it up a bit, okay? okay? I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of nutmeg to start, and a little bit of cinnamon, okay? About a teaspoon of each. All right, let's add a little bit of sugar in there. One. Two, three. When you're gonna work with these kinds of peppers, it's safest to put on some gloves. If not, you'll probably stick your finger in your nose or your eye, or you'll go and touch yourself, and then you'll feel some pain yeah. for a while. Yeah, so I've done just that with jalapenos. Jalapenos are nice. They hurt a little bit. Yeah. These hurt a little bit more. All I right. Bet, I bet. So if you want to tone it down a little, you can take out your seeds like that. Another question. And wear glasses because right. sometimes if you cut them, there's gonna be a little bit of juice and sometimes the seeds snap up on your face. Okay. So then we're gonna take a little bit of the time and we'll just start the pulse. Right, so we're grinding Look that up. That. So the, that pimento is what's made the paste. Part of it and then the juices in this onion is gonna make a little bit more of a paste okay. that we're gonna put on this stuff. Wow. All right, now I like at this point. A little beer, of course. Just a little bit of red stripe. Now raw, that's probably incredibly spicy, well, we're gonna right? Add a little. We're not done. We're gonna add our black pepper, of course, and then I'm gonna add a bit of salt. So anybody can do this in their backyard. They can get they can get going at five o'clock after work Ooh. and and have this on the table by six six thirty, right? I'm just giving you a little taste of that, and you can taste the pimento. 
there's a there's the bite after. Right. That's great. That that hot that hits hot. you after. But it's not blowing our heads off because I only no. use two chili. Bonnie. It's hot enough. You can't. It's hot. <laughs> chicken. Mm. Right. We want to get the flavor of the jerk into the chicken. Right. So. We're gonna do what a thing is that I call slash and grill. Now, I, I'm always interested when you do this with chicken because aren't we gonna lose the juices of the chicken? You're correct. Look but at me. It depends Look on how me. you're gonna cook it. If you're gonna cook it real hot and fast, mm -hmm. you know, you're gonna you're gonna heat it up quickly. Mm -hmm. You're just gonna cook it nicely. And what this slashing does, you wanna be able to see down to the bone. Okay. So you want a clear white bone. You don't want red when you're doing it, so okay. it'll give you access, but it also opens it up so that you get more flavor. I just think I'm having a moment because Ted for once said I was right. Get over it. It's okay. I'll have a sip of beer. I got other friends that can come over. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. We got the chicken there. Okay. Go with legs. You get more flavor. Fat is flavor. You know, you're skinny, not delicious. <laughs> Me, I'm fucking fantastically delicious. Uh, All right. Drink. So take that off of there. I think we got a dozen thighs in here. Yeah, that's a lot of chicken. But this is just enough jerk paste for that. Do this, grab a beer, all right? Mm -hmm. Now you mix it all up. So again, it doesn't have to be perfection. Not every inch of the chicken no, has to be No, but you know, coated. rub it, rub it, as go to the bottom, get rub it, it into, the, get the, it into the, those. the cuts, the slashes. Yep. Hence the term slash and grill. If you want it really, really spicy, yeah. you're gonna put this in the fridge and let it sit for 24 hours. Okay. So we're just gonna take these chicken and we're gonna put them on the grill. So now you got this paste, right? Mm hmm So just put it on top right now. Get a little extra, take your tongs. Of course, I'm getting all the smoke in my face. Traditionally, jerk is from, was done over uh, pimento wood. Oh, okay. And it looks like this. And I bought this bag from Ontario Gas Barbecue in 2002. Now you can't get this wood in Canada because it's not legal anymore. Oh, geez. So we're just going to take a handful of the chips. You could use a pecan wood. Okay. Uh, you could use apple wood. It goes nicely with the chicken. Okay. All right. Uh, orange wood would go really, really well, or lemon wood. Oh, wow. Okay. If you could uh, get your handles on some of that. Jaw. Oh, jeez, you're a pirate. So uh, now, down here, it just sits there. We're gonna get a little bit of char Joel. into that. Get it all going, it'll char on its own. It takes time. And so, well, it takes time. And then, so the other thing is we wanna make a little basting sauce, a drizzling sauce. So we're gonna take that pot. I've got a little bit of orange marmalade. Mm. Into that, I'm gonna take some honey. This is jerk vodka. 10 years ago, I uh, took those smoked pimentos and I put them in a bottle of vodka. And this is what I've got. Gonna add a little bit of that. So the sweet factor is gonna go way up. Yeah, but we're not putting a ton on this, right. okay? Right, you, you want that flavor to be there so that if you bite it, you go, wow, it's hot. But then 30 seconds to a minute later, it's sucking you back in to punch you in the face a second time. <laughs> and so that's the whole purpose right. and the flow of it is to get that second punch. See how it's charring? Look at that. You want the juice. It's not the char you worry about. See, I'd end up throwing those out. You're a moron. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I could stay home if I wanted to be cold names. So this, this little marmalade mixture, we're just gonna tuck it in there. Want to add some flavor down into the fire because you don't have the pimento wood? Uh-huh. How about a little bit of cinnamon stick? And that's gonna make a difference, those two sticks. So you're adding those aromatics as it cooks. Okay. Fancy word there. Look at that one. That is that beautiful. One the skin just no, I but see, I love that. I love to see inside. Are legs your favorite part I of the chicken? I love the leg, the yeah. thigh. Oh, oh. Like the if way. you have to rate them, it would be legs first, then thigh. No, I'm really a thigh guy. Okay. I'd go all the way to the thigh and then down the leg and yummy kai. Yeah. Around the ankle. Oh. So we're just gonna drizzle this honey and orange marmalade with the pimento vodka in there, right? You could use rum. I think Joel's hungry. Joel, are you hungry? 
squeeze. Don't get all that little juices out of that, right? Get them out. It's all flavor. Don't waste it. Oh! Right, that's like Greek cooking. Finish it with a little Ray and Nephew right there. Now that's a fire. Right? As Eddie Murphy once said. Right. So internal temperature on these, if you take them to at least 185 degrees, and maybe even 195 mm. in that range, you're still gonna have a moist and juicy chicken. And you cook all the way into the bone and you extract all the flavor out of the bone. And then you have meat that slides off the bone. Okay. All right, man. Let's get in it's it. It's all pretty now. To you. Cheers, Cheers to your cooking, Teddy. Thank you. And it's got a little bit of heat, mm. but nothing that's going to blow your head off. You wanted to blow your head off? Add a couple extra scotch bonnets. I would never have you do my accounting, but you can cook like a son of a bitch. Okay. Oh my god, this is good, good chicken. You got the bite, the jerk bite. Got the citrus flavor. This could be it. You could put this on a sandwich. You don't need a side. No, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Yippee tasty. Mm. Stay tuned next week. We'll have another crazy episode. I'll be probably hanging out with this guy because I like him and him coming to my backyard at Casa Barbecue. And you know, if you DM me and send me some uh, thoughts about what you'd like to learn to grill mm. or smoke or barbecue, let me know. Maybe we'll even feature you with me here at my backyard. Cheers. Have a great day. It'd be tasty. I know Lucky, my co-host at 94.9 The Rock, I know he would love to try your chicken. Would you mind if I took him a little doggy bag? Is that okay? Would you got 50 bucks? <laughs> Thanks, Ted. See you later, Krager. What the hell am I going to do with all this chicken? Why would I even bother? How am I going to... Um, uh, this is dip, um, um, hold on. Don't fucking drop the chicken, okay? Uh, I know, I just paid 50 bucks for it. All right. No, fine, Joel. Thanks for nothing. Cheers. See you next time, Teddy.